Queensland. Many of you know about Desert Channels Queensland. We're the regional natural resource management body for the Lake Air Basin catchment here in Queensland. So we cover an area of about one third of Queensland and only 15,000 people. So it's great to see such a good roll up of those 15,000 people here today. The Climate Change Adaptation Forum will bring together a pretty powerful group of speakers, speakers that we don't often get together in one place, place here, and, and I'm certainly looking forward to hearing some of today. This particular forum has been part of our landholder support services project, and Colleen, here, Colleen, wave your hand. Colleen's uh, a, the driver of, 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 of this, this, this workshop and many other workshops for us, and we certainly very appreciative of Colleen's services. Today we'll have facilitation by Jerry Roberts from GR Consulting and everybody knows Jerry and Jerry is very adept at uh, guiding us through the day. But I won't say very much more but uh, other than to say that uh, our region here has some of the most variable climates in Australia. Parts of our region have 90% rainfall variability in the far southwest. So we're, we're, we're used to dealing with an environment that is inherently very variable. I come originally from Victoria where we only had 15% variability of rainfall. A, a dry year was 27 inches and a wet year was 33. Yeah, Last five years have been nowhere near that. And my father tells me, he said, I've moved 100 miles north. <laughs> so that's a long way in terms of Victoria. So things are happening, things are changing. We're always going to have to deal with change. But it's a great opportunity for you to, to really hear some good stuff about climate change adaptation. And I welcome, welcome you here to Longreach and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, I'd add my welcome to Michael's welcome um, to say it's good to see you here and to have a crowd of people who have an interest in something which is so topical, so important, and of much value to you to spend time on. So I commend you for spending the time here today with the group that Colleen has prepared. Now, uh, I'm Jerry Roberts, as Mike said, from GR Consulting. I've lived and worked in Western Queensland since the mid-70s. Julia Creek, Blackhall and Longreach has been the areas where I've mostly been. Um, and Colleen has asked me to facilitate today. It's one of the things that uh, I've been fortunate enough to develop, uh, well, maybe some schools in, we'll see. Um, but the idea is that uh, I'm mainly here to direct the proceedings. There won't be any content from me, but what I'll be here is to sort of keep things at time, to make sure that when we're due for a break that we actually go and have a break, to make sure that those people who have a question to ask that we fit as many of those in as we possibly can, um, each time that we have the opportunity to ask questions. Now you'll see that um, in front of you, there's just a first, first few things I need to do first. The first one is that you'll have seen an agenda which you picked up outside, and you'll see the agenda's got the timings that we have on there. It's also got a piece about the, uh, the topic that the speakers are speaking about, and the speakers themselves, you'll see there's a bit of a bio on the back. Now, the main things for you to notice are that um, we'll run till 5 p.m and that there'll be a morning, lunch and an afternoon break and that each speaker has 45 minutes to do the presentation that they've prepared for you in the topic that they're speaking on and there'll be 15 minutes for questions. Now before lunch and before we finish this afternoon the, um, there will be a 30 minute um, discussion session in which the speakers who've been on before that time will be available for you to speak with them, ask questions, um, make comments about. So that'll be the 30 minutes before we go break and go to lunch and the 30 minutes before we finish this afternoon. Now, the next thing is that the facilities, if you need to use them today, the toilets are at the swimming pool and the gate, if you go up on the left-hand side here, the gate's just around the corner, um, I think that is, and uh, you'll be able to find your way into there. So if you need to go, please uh, make use of those facilities. The second thing is, um, the next thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a look around. If you see this arrangement here, you can't actually see who's here. You can see the backs of a lot of heads if you're up the back and if you're down the front, but all you can see is a few of us at the front here. So what I'd like you to do is to have a good look around and see who's here. And uh, so you can do that now. Now's the chance. Just turn around, have a look. It's quite legit. I'd like you to know who's here because you'll hear voices that you recognise. And... Um, <laughs> Now, just take a minute to say hello to anyone who's near you there. It's okay? So if you haven't met them, please make a point of saying hello to people you haven't met.
uh, piece that you're talking now. Now, one of the things that I find when I work with uh, groups, um, it's often handy if we can think about some communication guidelines to help us uh, communicate with each other in a ways which are productive. And so I'm going to now suggest to you some ideas that I have about how we can operate today. Um, when we want us, so we can talk, so that people know the questions that you're asking and so they can respond well, and so that we can hear all that needs to be said today. Now, I'll tell you a little about these, and then I'm going to ask you if you can agree to them. The first one that I'm going to ask that you uh, consider is the idea of listening to understand and avoid interrupting. The reason that I ask you to think about that particular one is that Sometimes when I'm listening to what someone else is saying, particularly if it's a topic that really gets my attention and I've actually spent some time thinking about and I actually have formulated some opinions about it, then sometimes I jump to my response. And what that does is, well, that's a wonderful thing because you're prepared. But yeah, that's what you might think. However, what it can do is it can exclude you from hearing all that that person says. So I'm going to ask, suggest to you that one of the communication guidelines that we use today is to listen uh, to understand what someone's saying and avoid interrupting. Is that something that you think would be useful for us to use today as one of our guidelines? I'm looking for nods or acceptances or... Yes. Yep, what do people think? Yes. Yep. Anyone who'd have trouble with that one? No. Lou, is that a nod? <laughs> Do you have trouble with it? In jest only. Well, I'll, thank you. But, uh, everyone else? So is everyone happy if we use that as a guideline for this morning? For today? Okay? Okay, that's it.